All right, y'all. Let's start this off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. We do so by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. This is the Deacon Sakari. We are on Sakari Switchblades due to the uh, technical difficulties going on on my main channel, Deacon Destruction Mode. Today, we're going to talk about woman gets instant judgment for leaving Israelite husband. Now, you guys can guess it. Why did she leave her Israelite husband? Why did she leave her Israelite husband? What was this judgment? How long were they separated for? How long did she walk out for? We're going to talk about that all today. We're going to talk about it. Why you should not give up on your husband? Why you should not give up on your wife? Because you will be judged. It may be swift judgment. It may be prolonged judgment. But God promised that he will not at all acquit the wicked. But first, let me run the intro. Deacon Sakari, we back at it like a crack at it. They done let them bruise in the dough. In this wicked industry Damn, to shine the light on. They done let them bruise in the dough. Oh shit. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Uh, uh. They done let them bruise in the dough. We ain't going nowhere. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. He bruise. Uh. He bruise. They done let them bruise in the dough. They done let them bruise in the dough. Look. Joe Biden need the free dark low the hell is wrong with dude Hey what's going on everybody Deacon Sakari new clothing line the whole armor put it on new clothing line out right now we got apparel for the sisters apparel for the kids and of course apparel for the mighty men of Israel we got quality material affordable prices y'all check it out we got stuff for the southern kingdom we got stuff for the northern kingdom we got exclusivity all right y'all see it y'all see the brew drip y'all see the brew sauce all right deacon sakari new clothing line called the whole armor.com all right everybody go support support israelite businesses and I greatly appreciate y'all. Shalom. Out, we bail on him. Leviticus, I like my fish with scales on him. Ask Chief Ephraim, he could vouch. We be putting in the work while you sitting on the couch. Camp haters quiet as a mouse. Yeah, I ready. Shout out to my brother Austin Trout. Just as a reminder, if there's doubt, I wear every single fringe, even when I'm in the house. Get all your truth music at deaconsakari.com. That's nine albums. We even got a couple free for y'all. Support the cause, y'all. I see a lot of haters. I knew it would come with it. Rap game full of evil and sin. And I don't want none of it. They bite my style. They just want to take it and run with it. Sakari Varsity Online Academy specializing in Hebrew apologetics. Come learn how to defend the gospel. Email sakariseattle at gmail.com. Limited registration. Sakari. We are the children of the one you have. The chosen. Ye are the chosen of the one you have. And he has given his loss to us. Not everything belongs to us. We above all nations, all nations. What? Above all nations, all nations. Yeah. We are the chosen of the one you have. We finally back on, finally back on children's Bibles with black and brown images. I know a lot of y'all been waiting. You better, a lot of people on back order. We still got some though. Put your order in before it's too late. I'm going to start having them regularly, Lord willing, but get it in. Let's go. Hit me up. DM. Even your head wraps. Stay dipped. Stay brew dripping. All right. DeaconSakari.com. All right, y'all, go to czyn.network, czyn.network. We done with Patreon. No more Patreon. czyn.network. You're going to get videos too hot for YouTube or early releases. So go sign up. Promo code Deacon Sakari. Promo code Deacon Sakari. Promo code Deacon Sakari.
not only do you get Deacon Sakari's content, you get Gorilla Hebrew content, Hassad content, other camps putting their content on this platform. We need our own app, so sign up using promo code Deacon Sakari. C Z Y N dot network. It's our own app, our own platform. The white man can no longer subvert or hide or try to censor this truth. So sign up and get this heat. Promo code Deacon Sakari. Promo code Deacon Sakari. Promo code Deacon Sakari. CZY. Praises. Get your commercial played here. Contact Sakari Seattle at gmail.com. Introducing Super Thanks. YouTube has now added a feature where you can donate if you missed the live show by just clicking the heart button with the thanks on it. It'll be on every video. It'll highlight your comment to bring more attention to your statement. So if it's on your heart, super thanks. Shalom. Have you reached your marital ceiling? Are you experiencing irreconcilable differences? Feeling alone with no Israelites near you? We are now offering individual and marriage counseling. We also offer family therapy, career counseling, and trauma therapy. Contact the Deacon Sakari at 442-341-1308. Shalom. Popping mollies and putting powder in your nostrils. We be in the trenches, needles under benches. We be giving them the gospel. I keep 12 Sakari members with me. We be moving like apostles. True. Some sisters is dead traps, hair wraps, but just a lithotno. The church don't even know the truth. They can even tell you you an Israelite. The Arabs selling you all the switches and the malt liquor or the Ishmaelite. You can show a nigga slave ships in the Bible, still won't get it right. Until the time's out, then a the nigga gotta find out what them missiles like. Woo! <clears throat> all praises, y'all. Let's start this by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. We do so by Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Woman gets instant judgment for leaving Israelite husband. Let this be a cautionary tale. You know, um, man, so many things could happen. But the Bible says the Israelites are at an agreement with death. What does that mean? What does that mean? We're going to get into this footage in a second here, but what does that mean? <clears throat> Isaiah 28 and 15. Let's get right into it, y'all. We got to talk about it today. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 15 says this. I hate when people say that. It's called says this. People be like, says this. Maybe that's just downtown, down south. Says this, says this, says. The scripture says, it says, right? So let's share our screen. Let's get right into it. This is going to help some marriages out today. And if you're not married, you are going to be blessed by this as well. Take your time. Take your time. Or you might lose your mind. <clears throat> so in, in Isaiah 28 and 15, I'm going to read the NIV. It says, you boast we have entered into a covenant with death. With the realm of the dead, we have made an agreement. So when an overwhelming score sweeps by, it cannot touch us. For we have made a lie our refuge and falsehood our hiding place. This is our people. Remember I told you guys before, I had a sister tell me that she would rather go to hell than to share me. Ain't that crazy? Sister told me she would rather go to hell than to share me. So our women are at an agreement, have made an agreement with death. They'll say, I'll leave my husband. I don't care about the consequences. I'll leave my husband. I don't care about the judgment. I'll leave my husband. I don't care about reprisal. I'll leave my my husband. I don't care about consequences and repercussions. Because our women are at an agreement with death, much like the Bible says. And a lot of our men are too. I get on niggas all the time. But today, this lesson is allocated and directed towards our women because this is the footage and content and story we are going to be covering. 
right? But in this case, in this case, the judgment for this sister came pretty swift. Now, it might not come, you know, um, it might not come as fast as one would think, you know, it might not come as fast as one would think, but judgment will come, right? This is Malachi three and five, and I will come near to you to judgment and, and I will be swift, a swift witness against the sorcerers and against the adulterers and against false swears. Because what do you think this sister did? You think she wouldn't stay single? That might be a woman's only chance not to get capital punishment if she leaves her husband and doesn't marry again and doesn't have sex again. That might be her only <laughs> way to mercy if she leaves her husband and doesn't have sex again. But look at this sister. You know, she ain't finna be, she's already in the back of a damn squad car. She's not finna change. She not finna quarantine that that cootie cat. So we see right here, God says the judgment is gonna be swift. But then if it's not swift, look what it says. Nahum chapter one, verse three. The Lord is slow to anger, but great in power. The Lord will not leave the guilty unpunished. Look at the KJV. The Lord is slow to anger and great in power and will not at all acquit the wicked. So even if we see women who, and we're going to play this whole story here. This, this video got 2.5 million views on it. I don't know how nobody heard her say that her husband was an Israelite and she mentioned Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the true names of the Heavenly Father and his son. And nobody sent this to me but one brother. And this was just a couple days ago the brother sent this to me. We have to understand that sometimes judgment is swift, like this sister got. She said she left her Israelite husband a couple days ago. She's in there snitching and telling the detective everything. Or the judgment could feel like it's prolonged to us because God is not bound by time. He transcends time. Therefore, everything he's doing is in the now. And even furthermore, predestined, written out from the beginning. The end being written out from the beginning. So, you know, if you feel like, oh, this, you, you, your woman is wicked and she left you over something that was biblically unfounded and she didn't have any pre biblical precedent to leave you, you know, you don't have to put curses on her or, you know, anything like that. The Most High already promised that he will not acquit the wicked. So the judgment will come swift or the judgment could seem prolonged in our eyes from our vantage point because we are bound by time. Right. There's one more verse that I wanted to bring out too, real quick. One more verse. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. This is a good one. Let me uh let me pull this up and oh this is running so slow. This is running so slow. Let me pull this up though. Okay. Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. It says when the sentence for a crime is not quickly carried out, people's heart are filled with schemes to do wrong. You see that? So when a woman leaves you, her husband, because of another woman, that's not biblically founded. Uh, unless um, the, the woman was acquired and when she was already married or through adultery. No, but if your man is lawfully practicing poly, lawfully practicing multiple wives and you leave that situation look what the, look what the bible says when a crime is not punished quickly people feel that it's safe to do wrong 
So she thought that, oh, I left my husband because he had another woman. And she said, well, all right, nothing happened. So she tried to keep doing wrong and go steal 15,000 from the cash register where she was working at Walmart. Her Israelite husband, she knew the truth. She knew the names of the Lord. She even said Hamashiach. A lot of people don't even say that. A lot of people just say Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. She said Yahweh Shem Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. So she was really in this thing. And I'm hoping that this brother sees this, whoever he is, and contacts me. Right? So she played this verse out to a T. Oh, you know, the Lord didn't judge me immediately for leaving my husband. So therefore, I'm going to keep doing wrong. Because the sentence against an evil deed is not executed speedily. The heart of the children of man is fully set to do evil. So we think because God ain't judging us immediately that we can continue in sin. That's when you accumulate your sins and you add sin on sin on sin on sin. And then when he judges you, it's worse than the first act that you did. Because now your sins have reached unto the heavens. Hyper, hyper hyperbolically speaking right so let's check this out y'all first i want to say fair use this is going to be our thoughts and comments on this content fair use this is going to be our thoughts and comments on this content y'all hit that like button somebody need to hear this somebody need to hear this hit that like button and share the video all right Let's play this. First, I want to play this, then I'll come back. I'm going to play this and I'm going to come back to the beginning. Why did it just do this? He believes in having multiple lives. Okay, I'm going to start it right here from the interrogation room, but we are going to cover the full, try to cover the full story here. Yeah? How long did you know him? Your boyfriend? Oh. We've been together for like a year, so much. maybe two years. Two years. They were together for two years, well into the marriage. December. Okay, so you guys are still together. Yeah. Why? Oh, oh. It's complicated. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's complicated. It looks like you got it all figured out. It's complicated. Yeah. yeah. The marriage is complicated, she says. Around? And then just snitching on Judah. He's probably a Judite brother. Whoever it is, is an Israelite brother. She just snitching on our brother to this swine's flesh. She's like, is he mess? He's asking her, is he messing around? First of all, you mess around with men, Esau. You're with men. And also you're with child. You I can't say messing around because he believes in having multiple wives. He believes in having multiple wives. Hold on, real quick. Hold on. What is he, Mormon? Can we just stop, please? My bad, y'all. I got a house full of degenerates interrupting the Lord's work. 
So let's go. Let me know if you guys can hear this. Praise got you in a trick bag. I can't say messing around because he believes in having multiple lives. I'm just not part of that. What is he, Mormon? He believes. What do you mean you're just not a part of that? I'm sure he didn't just spring up multiple wives on you. I can't even say messing around because he believes in multiple wives. I'm just not part of that. And I'm just not a part of that. What? For two years, you were a part of it. Is he Mormon? Is he Mormon? <laughs> what the? Do you think this, this sister? Let me let me just do it. See if I can close up. Let me see if I can do a close up on this sister. Do you believe that this sister right here? She look, she looks kind of, you know. Niggerish. You think she would have a Mormon husband, a Mormon boyfriend? Maybe a Baptist boyfriend, maybe a comedic boyfriend, maybe a dreadhead, Draco wielding, pill pressing, Newport smoking. Anyway, that's pretty stereotypical. But does she look like she have a Mormon boyfriend? Let's just be real here. Having multiple lives. Not part of that. What is he Mormon? He believes in He's Muslim. The most high. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. But he believes in like what? Yahweh Shahad. She said them names. Too bad the most high couldn't come for you in this situation and get you out of it. Because you left your husband. So she said he believes in the most high Yahweh by Shem and Mashiach Yahweh Shai. I don't even say that. I just say Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And look at the trans, look at the caption, unknown. Of course, you guys don't want to put that on the screen and have people Googling Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Huh? He's Muslim. The most high. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. Like what? Now I wanna I wanna come back to that. I wanna come back to that, right? Matter of fact, I'm gonna play a little bit more and then we'll come back to it. Oh, so he's uh Jewish. Oh, so he's Jewish. See, these devils, they know who we are. How do somebody say, Yeah, how about Shima Mashiach Yahweh Shai? And you say Oh, he's Jewish. So you have to know something. How do you get Jewish out of that? Unless you know who we are. Oh, so he's Jewish. Now watch this part, y'all. Watch this part. Yeah, he's one of them um, Israelites. Uh He's one of them Israelites. Now watch what he says. Watch this, y'all. This is the most telltale sign of the whole video. We are the fastest growing religion in America. They already did a study at the Manhattan Institute on it. So watch what he says. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but hey, he must be doing something right. What are you laughing at? You goddamn devil. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's one of them um, Israelites. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but hey, he must be doing something right. What are you oh, laughing at? Yeah. <laughs> but hey, he must be doing something right. Wow. The disrespect. He's playing her too, playing on her. 
He didn't even have to bring his two payout. He just came out regular, getting her all, getting her soft, getting her opened up. Yeah, telling and you know, and, and when the end of the world comes, I hate to I hate to break this. You're a lot of you guys' wives are gonna sell you guys out. When they start to because the Israelites are on the red list, you know, the Rex 84 bill. When all hell break loose and they start to say, let's round up all the extremists, let's round up the Israelites, the identity groups, the black identity groups, the nationalists, your women are going to be in there just like this, laughing and giggling with Esau, telling all your business. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and we're, we're hiding over here, over there behind, um, you know, behind... MacArthur and uh, 63rd, you know, that's where we're all hiding at right now. We got, you know, water, food, you know, firewood. He does have a couple of guns, so you're going to have to proceed with caution. That's why the Bible says your enemies will be they of your own household. Why are you telling this man, oh, he got multiple wives like it's a crime for one? Oh, he's an Israelite, like it's a crime for two. Right? Right? Um, I ended things like, what, a couple days ago? So she said she ended things a couple days ago. So what happened a couple of days after you officially said you're done with your husband? Now, I want to say this to everybody. And I'm putting myself out there, too. I know sometimes we are not the best husbands. I know sometimes we are not the best husbands and we have character flaws. Every marriage has problems. But damn it, we should never sell out to the enemy ever. I'm not saying, listen, if your husband is just, if your husband is breaking your nose and breaking your teeth, black eyes, choking, strangling you, no, get the hell out of there. I'm not saying go remarry because he'd have to give you a bill of divorce, but permanent separation or indefinite until he goes through rehabilitation and counseling. But I'm saying like just with issues like, OK, you guys yell at each other. You guys argue. You guys argue about money. Uh, you know, you don't do what he tells you to do. You're not in the house when he, at a proper time. Um, you're hanging around women who are hoes and thoughts and he doesn't like that and you still do it or he doesn't like the way you dress and um you know, uh, verbal abuse. We need to go to our own community and deal with our own and fix our problems that way instead of going and selling out to the goddamn enemy, not just the enemy, the slave mat, the, the slave catchers of the enemy. Not not just the enemy. But the slave catchers of the enemy, i.e., law enforcement, right? Now I'm gonna play more of this. I don't. I didn't watch this whole thing. Maybe she tried to tell on him too. I know I did wrong, but oh, matter of fact, I did hear something similar. Ah, oh, come on, sister. I'm going to play a little bit more before we tell you how she got what she got charged for and what she did. But sadly, y'all, oh, man, this just makes it seem like you cannot trust your woman at all. Because now that I'm remembering, I did skip through this video and she tried to tell on this man that he was selling drugs. 
you're caught red handed. You're going to jail. You got a felony. Two more of those and you're doing life in prison. So you got the judgment. You got caught red handed. This is a 100% conviction. In prosecution. But this is what our women are going to do. Because they don't respect us. That's why the Bible says your people will be willing in the day of your power. When we're in power, then our women will be in order fully. But because we're not in power and they can call the slave catchers, get the courts involved, then we're we're at the mercy of um, this system that we're in that are our, that it's already geared towards apprehending and 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 uh, profiling and exterminating black men and brown men that's why the bible says all wickedness is little compared to the wickedness of a woman imagine a whole grown-ass man in there in handcuffs I'm saying, yeah, my girlfriend, but my girlfriend, you know, she's 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 cracking cards. She's got a credit card, credit card scam. She got the black box machine and she works there. And when people are paying for she's taking their information. And well, she 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 has a whole tax, uh, a, a faulty tax return business or she she. uh you know, she used somebody else's identity to get her her ass job, her her ass did. She used somebody else's credit to get her titties did. Imagine a whole grown ass nigga up in here telling on his his woman when he, when 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 she didn't even get uh him in the situation that he's in. This is how evil women are. Now, I see in the chat right now a few sisters who are righteous, who I love and who I'll kill and die for. I'm not talking about y'all. This is not broad brushing all women, but we can find these examples in our community. This is a Israelite sister, even if she's trying to act like to the police that she wasn't involved in the community. She knew perfectly how to say, yeah, how about Shema Mashiach, how shy? So she's going to try to tell on him. She ended it a couple of days ago. And now she's going down for a felony. So what does he do for work? First of all, why does it even matter what he does for work? See, and she's just cooperating with the devil. This is literally the serpent and Eve. Literally. The serpent and Eve. What the hell does this nigga have to do with what she's being charged for? And she's just willingly giving up all this information on this brother. What does he do for work? He was At first, he was selling. Man. Hey, brothers, I'm going to tell you guys right now. Multiple wives, just forget about it. Take it from me. Just forget about it. Just forget about it. If you, want, if you brothers out there want to know what I think you should do, contact me directly. I can't even say it on YouTube. <laughs> but this is scary man it really makes you not trust your woman it really makes you not want to get 
a woman or even more women if you have if you are if you have one. Man. This is cold. This is cold. At first he was selling. Okay. At first he was selling. No, I think he's working at Wingstop. If he still works there, I don't know. He was telling who you living with then. Yeah, it's not making any sense. So at first he was selling. So and this is this this is the cold part about it. He's not selling no more right now. So why would you tell the police that he was selling? This is not something that he's currently doing to your own admission. <laughs> Man, I hope she got the book thrown at her. At first he was selling. Now he's working at Wingstop. When he says, what does he do for work? You should just say he's working at Wingstop. And she's like, oh, I don't know. How don't you know? You said you ended it two days ago. I think he's working at Wingstop. If he still works there, I don't know. Who are you living with then? I'm back in my mom's house right now. I'm, I was trying to get my life back in order. So I was back at her house. You're trying to press fast forward on that to get a life back together? Who were you who were you living with two days ago? Is what he's asking. All right, nephew. We'll see you next week, maybe. All right. Bye. So we're gonna come back to this. I want you, I want to I'm show you guys what women do when they don't have a head over them. And why she got a whole felony. Like I said, two more of those, this bitch is doing life in prison. And unless she repents, unless she repents, I'd like to see her do it. Uh, so she's going to blame this brother in the truth, this Israelite brother, for the fact that she caught this felony. Oh, yeah, so I had to leave him because his other wives or he had other wives. I didn't like it, so I had to leave. And now I'm living with my mom, so I had to get my life back in order because I left with nothing. I left with a dollar, and so I had no other choice but to commit this felony by working at Walmart and stealing cash out of the register. It's his fault. It's all his fault. It's all my husband's fault. These are the type of games that are played with these women in the truth and women who know the truth. So we'll come back to this whole snitching and telling. No, we are. No. We're asking you. What We're going to play a little bit of this from the beginning, show you guys how stupid these women are when they don't have their head and not i'm not saying you have to be married because if you're not married but if you're not married you have to have be in the congregation and your leader the leadership of that congregation is your head to where they hold you accountable advise you counsel you pray for you explain your visions and dreams to you that you may have just be there for you help guide you But when you unlawfully leave your marriage, that all goes out the door. You have no leadership now. You have no husband now. But our women feel like they're so invincible. And again, I'll do another lesson on this for the men as well. Because there's a lot of evil and wickedness that men do. But this content today is based on our women. It's focused on our women. So take a good look at this face, you guys. Take a good look at this face. Whoever she is, somebody let me know. 
Deacon would like to interview her husband because she's already viral. Like I said, this video almost is at 3 million views. <laughs> and this happened in June. June, not even a half a year ago. Or I'm sorry, not even a year ago. You guys can't open it? No, we are. No. We're asking you. What money came from the store? Just the hundreds, not the tens inside no. here? On June 6, 2023, officers from Broward County responded to a call where a Walmart. All right. So this brother is in the truth. He's from he's in Broward County. He might be light as Zion. He might be uh, no cap. I don't know all the camps down there. I don't even know where Broward County is. I know it's probably it's, I believe that's Southern Florida. If I'm not mistaken, somebody fact check for me. Is that uh Southern Florida, Broward County? Yeah, Second Timothy three and six. Silly women laden with sin. Silly women laden with sin. Facts. Okay, it's damn near Miami. Okay. Why would it be GOCC? No. Okay. So let's continue. was accused of stealing thousands of dollars from her register. Initially, the scheme involved the cashier shortchanging customers when given large bills, netting her 200 to 300 dollars daily. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so you give her a hundred dollars, you you, you 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 pay for something that comes out to uh 30 34 dollars and 88 cents and she's supposed to give you back uh 60 66 dollars is my math good y'all um and but she just gives you back uh 52 dollars i don't know either way this is one thing she was doing short change in customers now if your husband was the one who told you to do this dumb shit, then you would have said that to the police but he didn't i believe her husband is a man of the lord that's just me whoever the brother is please get with me right Eventually, the cashier advanced her theft skills, leading to her stealing between five hundred and one thousand dollars each day. Uh -huh. I hate this, but so she's stealing. So then she upgrades her crime. She upgrades her crime from shortchanging customers to stealing five hundred to a thousand from the register each day. Now she probably got more than fifteen thousand, to be real with you, right? This nigga right here, though, man. Okay. If this ain't listen, this nigga right here. If this ain't the most, I wish I can use foul language, but I know that messes up the YouTube algorithm. And I know a lot of Israelites are still Christians, so I'm not gonna say these words. And if I slip up, forgive me. But we in the Israelite community, we don't think it's a sin to say as that's that word is actually in the Bible or B-I-T-C-H, because that just means a female dog. Those aren't curse words. Curse words are, I wish your father dies of a heart attack tomorrow. That's a curse. Or God, I'm, I'm praying for that to happen. That's a curse. Or putting spells on people. That's curses. Wishing evil and harm on them. That's a curse. Either way, though, that's a side note. This nigga, can I say, can I say, what word can I use that's not too vulgar? where YouTube won't get mad and Israelite Christians won't get offended. Just a, just a, oh. Ho ass man. How about this ho ass man? This ho ass man. Yeah, this B-A-N. Let's use B-A-N. You guys shouldn't understand what that means. B-A-N. This ban. 
Watch how he's talking to the police. He just won't stop talking to the police. Watch this. We got this, we have this thing, we have somebody that stole over five thousand dollars. Okay. You guys have yeah, right, today yeah, they have yeah, yeah, it's right, right now. It's an accident. Oh, yeah, it's happening right now. So uh we're doing the exit interview and um so the person is sitting down right now. In the in the office? In the office. Okay. Waiting. Um okay. and so cameras already roll, evidence has already been collected. When officers arrive <laughs> you hear this this band. You know, it's happening right now. It's in action. The evidence is already collected. The cameras are already rolled. Right now, we're doing this interview. And this dude is a Hamite. Nah, he's probably not a Hamite. He's probably a Levite since he's down there in Broward County. All you Levites, please forgive me. But some of you guys do closely resemble uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> right? Uh, anyway, this nigga, man, I mean, he's just so excited. He wants to be a cop. And watch what he says, y'all. Watch. Two undercover employees at the Walmart devised a plan posing as customers to catch the suspect in the act. The suspect would steal over $1,500 in just a few hours of the starting shift. Came back to work. She did something with someone in the parking lot. Okay. All right. All right. So it started. So... Why are you gonna just take care, take, take him to Jennifer? Okay. Right. You, you guys want to press charges though? Yeah. Actually, okay. All right. Yeah, cool. I'm waiting for my partner to come and then we'll. Oh, okay. Just, all right. Cool. Yeah. I had uh. I have to call a little bit longer. Yeah. So the cop is saying, you know, I have to wait for his part. He have to wait for his partner to come, right? So he they had to wait for a second. But listen to that. Watch this. I had um. Uh, I had um. Uh, I call Farino. Okay. Farino. Farafino. Farafino. Yeah. yeah, he's my buddy, man. So we met. And <laughs> so we connected. So we're trying to do this whole thing where. So I guess Farafino is. I think he's the the police captain down there, or maybe the sergeant. So watch what this guy says, man. He's like, yeah, I called the sergeant or whatever, and. We we bring you guys in, not when we got problems, but oh, yeah, you know we're gonna do, you know, appreciation and just you know just. I have customer appreciation plus this nigga said we want to bring you guys in not just when we have problems but just for appreciation just throw a goddamn celebration for the police at walmart <sighs> what a b-a-n when the store over you know so we want you guys to be around and just know that you know yeah, you, you don't want to have Issues. This nigga just won't stop talking. He won't stop talking to this cop. But I ain't gonna lie to you. I seen somebody put Zesty. He probably is a homosexual. Possibly. I can't put that 100% on somebody. But you can see, look at, right when I paused it, look at his wrist. Broke wrist. That's the spirit. And his clothing, he's got beads, all these weird beads on his arm, on his wrist. So maybe that's why he's talking to the cop. Maybe he's attracted to him. No, and um, but this young lady, which you know, my boss who's over it, because me and him, uh, you know, we go from store to store to do investigations and audits. So, so originally on, he's still talking. the The video is lapsing in time and he's still just tall he just wants to talk to the cop 19 it started with her stealing she hasn't even been here two months so you know so she's been working there for two months almost two months when a person starts stealing so that was the first time yeah so first thing is shoplifting not paying for stuff 200 dollars. and then over the past several weeks our register has been missing you know a thousand Two thousand eighteen hundred. So when they when people get newly hired, they're allowed access to for as cashiers. Not normally. They normally, you know, they they do something else. They are not handling so much cash for whatever reason. I guess you know people thought she was trustworthy and that we could trust her, and she was you know allowed to handle a lot of cash. What's her name? Like we have all of that all stuff. Yeah, all of that stuff is, is in the uh, 
is in the office. Yeah, so we got a whole pageant and stuff. Perfect. It's frustrating because, you know, I'm an older guy, man, and, you know, people see us because we, we, we're kind of undercover. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, you just hate doing this, man. It's, Absolutely. It's a you, pain give, you give people a job to work and they try to fight, you know, the, fight the hand of people. You know, it's a pain in the ass, man. I heard you want to just suck it's part of it. It's, it's the bad part of the job. Yeah, man. I mean, the good you know, thing is when like when good good things happen, always sometimes bad yeah. stuff comes to yeah. it can always be yeah, you know. <laughs> he just keeps saying, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, you know. Uh. Let me skip this. What? Side note question. How many brothers met their wife at Walmart? How many brothers met their wife at Walmart? Walmart? Certain Walmarts. If you love beautiful women. <laughs> Certain, not all Walmarts, but certain Walmarts, brother. If you love beautiful women, okay. Damn, handcuff their dreads. <laughs> Damn, he put the dreads in handcuffs and everything. See how humiliating. All you had to do was stay with your husband. Deal with him having another wife. It's lawful. Don't leave because of another woman. Don't remove yourself from the play and position over another woman. Now your dreads are in hand. Even your dreads are in handcuffs. You guys see that? That devil didn't care. He's seen them dreads. <laughs> Oh my God. Nigga, the dreads is going to jail. Even the dreads is going to jail. And she said, Oh, my Israelite husband had multiple wives and you know, he believes in you. How about Shem Mashiach Yahweh Shai? I can guarantee you that you was praying in your head to you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? You're going to know the names of the Most High and then put a stain on this truth by this whole fiasco here. Right? What does 1 Corinthians 7 say? I'm going to come back there. Hold on a second. 1 Corinthians 7, verse 10. And unto the married I command, yet not I, but the Lord, let not the wife depart from her husband. It's very simple. Let not the wife depart from her husband.
But and if she depart, let her remain unmarried, no sex in the champagne room, or be reconciled to her husband. So if she is feeling some type of way about multiple wives and she's weak and jealous, she chooses to unlawfully separate or separate against her husband's command, she has to remain unmarried. And when she's done pouting, she has to reconcile to her husband if she hasn't put another pipe inside of her. And let not the husband put away his wife. Now, we know what the cases are that you can put away your wife. Matthew chapter 5, verse 32 or 31. It has been said, whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. Verse 32. But I say unto you, because the Lord has the ability, the Lord uh, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ has the ability to radicalize the law and make it stiffer. He said, you can't put away your wife except for fornication. And what is fornication? Any unlawful sex act. And it goes intrinsically or either way with the man or the woman. And according to her testimony, that didn't happen. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 26, verse 6. But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman. And a scourge of the tongue which communicated with all. Let me see what this says in the GNT. Sirach 26 GNT. <clears throat> Hit that like button. Hit that like button, y'all. Am I saying anything wrong? If I'm not saying anything wrong, hit that like button. I'm just reading the Bible. But a woman jealous of another woman causes a heartache and grief. Her tongue lashes out at everyone. A bad wife is like a yoke that doesn't fit. Trying to control her is like holding a scorpion. We should read some of this. We should definitely read some of this. Ooh, look at this. A wife who doesn't talk too much is a gift from the Lord. Such restraint is an admirable, is admirable beyond words. We'll come back to that. We will definitely come back to that. So her dreads are going to jail. Her hands are in handcuffs. I'm sorry, her wrists are in handcuffs. Her dreads are in handcuffs. It's bad. Okay. Yeah. So, um, did he mention something about an affidavit? Okay, I I'll go ahead and grab the affidavit. You guys are the first ones that have asked for that from Confidence. So, if, you, if it's something that you guys always require, I can have them save it. And okay, perfect. Okay. 
do that one. Probably. How much? How much cash is it? Um, around seven thousand. So I have five thousand of it documented, but she okay. admitted to the other. She told me to go ahead and document that to them, okay. and I can send that to you guys. Gotcha, gotcha. But she has a cash here somewhere. She said it's at the smoke shop. Somewhere, yeah, the smoke shop. So we don't know what. She took smoke fifteen hundred today. So it's. She said it's by the smoke shop. So I don't know if it's by the smoke shop or where. Why are we asking for it? She been taking the money and stashing it. Taking the money and stashing it. And maybe she left her husband because her not 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 well, we know why she left her husband. She said the multiple wives, the polygyny. Uh so she said that's why. So so just grab her and she'll walk. It's in the parking lot. It's in another lot. store. Yeah, the smoke shop's at the place. Oh, 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 oh. She stashed it there. I'm uh, not gonna, let's just, she has to know somebody there. That would be my guess. So question is, uh, is CI going to do the PC or is CI going to do the PC or? Hey, uh, shout out to Joe, Joe, too amazing for the super chat donation. Greatly appreciate you. Uh, ju Judges 9 and 23. Then God sent an evil spirit between Abimelech and the men of Shechem. And Saul's servant said unto them, Behold, now an evil spirit from God troubled me. She got an evil spirit on her when she decided, and it was probably on her, um, you know, time approaching her decision to separate or to leave her husband, to try to divorce her husband or just be done with her husband. To have her tell you guys can't open it? No, we are. No. We're asking you, what money came from the store? Just the hundred. Just the hundred, not the hundred right yeah. now. I'm, I'm a right. Why are you giving up the stash spot? You could use the stash spot to bail your ass out. You're not a smart criminal. Let's highlight this comment right here. Let's highlight this comment and uh, let's highlight this comment. She said, my man loves me to the end of this world. Him gaining another wife didn't change that at all. I love him. Give that sister a hand. I felt that. I felt that in my bones. Whoever that brother is, man, you are blessed beyond words. Okay, let's continue. Oh, these two, are these there's two? Okay, so she they're trying to figure out actually how much was taken here by this Hebrew Israelite sister. Ma'am, is your ID in your wallet? You don't have an ID? Sorry, say it again. How you spell that? 
B Y S S E I. All right, just hang tight, okay? So we kind of got her name. She looked like she might be Haitian, to be honest with you, how far how far apart her eyes are. Again, forgive me for all the tribe of Levi. Uh, it's hard for me to identify you guys sometimes. I just look for them, them eyes, them eyes that are like far apart, right? Um, but yeah, she could be Haitian. When do I go down to the station? We're going to go to the station in probably five minutes. The woman was taken safely to the police station and charged with a major felony. Grand major felony. Smack. Come on, sister. What are we doing? Smacked with a major felony. Left your husband because he got a, another another woman or had another woman. Two days later, you get smacked with a major felony. The woman was taken safely to the police station and charged with a major felony, grand theft of more than $10,000. We've added an extra clip. Wait until you hear the reason why she was stealing from her job. We'll call this chapter Confessions of a Not-So-Smart Thief. Oh, my God. You're just dumb. All these women be acting like they got it. They know what they're going to do. They know the Bible. They know the Lord. God's going to forgive them. God's going to look out for them. They could leave. They don't need a husband. They don't need a head. They don't need protection. And now her dumb ass is just, they're calling her a not so smart thief, just mocking you, ridd ridiculing you. Yeah, all your stuff's out there right now. I'm writing all the paperwork for you. Will someone be in here? Yeah, he's coming in right now. Yeah. Um, How are you? you okay? Yeah, I'm just cold. Yeah. Are you sick? Mm -hmm. Okay, you just prefer to have. Yeah, um, um, when I was at work, I just don't like to have it on because I work. Oh, a lot of old people come in and I don't play that. Oh, yeah. So I want to talk to you about. How long have you been working at Walmart? Two months. Two months? Mm -hmm. So that right before your birthday or? Right after. Right after? It's probably a month now. Okay. Where did you work before that? Walmart. Which one? So I have not that one. The one that's right by the gas station. Is that all the way up north? It's not too far from the public, you know, public Hillsboro Square. Oh, all the way up there. What happened over there? Why'd you leave? Isn't that one closer to your house? It is, but I left because I left my parents' house. I wasn't living down in Pompano anymore. Where are you living now? I was living in Florida. Florida? Okay. In Miami. In Miami? You... It was just like on your own or with your friends? Boyfriend. Okay. Boyfriend. Now, you know sex is marriage. You very well know that. You seem like you're disappointed. Mm -hmm. Oh, you seem like you're disappointed. And he's not even a seasoned detective. And she's not even smart enough to say, is this being recorded? Just women, man. I remember when they took me down, <laughs> the detective was like, you want to talk? I'm like, this is being recorded. Yeah. 
listen, I'm not saying that whenever you're in that room, whenever now they got body cams, well, they have to tell you that. They have to tell you they're recording with the body cams. But once you come into this room, they do not have to tell you unless you ask. So he's saying, uh, oh, you seem disappointed with your boyfriend. She's like, very. Look, he didn't get you in this situation. You did. Yeah. How long did you know him? Oh. Your boyfriend. Um, we've been together for like a year or so much. Maybe two years, December. Okay, so you guys are still together? Yeah. Why? Oh, oh. It's complicated. Yeah? Doesn't look well, like she's she's double talking. She's like, you guys are still together. Well, she she just said they're still together. So she's being rebellious. Complicated. It looks like you got it all figured out. It's complicated. Yeah. Yeah. Is he messing around, or he's got you in a trick bag? I can't even say messing around because he believes in having multiple lives. I'm just not part of that. What is he Mormon? He believes in. He's Muslim. The Most High. The Muslim? He's not Muslim. But he believes in like what? Yahweh Bashem Mashiach Yahweh Shai. Oh, so he's uh, Jewish. Yeah, he's one of them um, Israelite. Ah. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> But hey, he must be doing something right, right? No, I ended things like what a couple days ago. A couple days ago. But, so what, what does he do for work? Okay, at first he was southern. Now I think he's working at Wingstop. If he still works there, I don't know. He was there. Who are you living with then? I'm back in mom's house right now. I'm. I was trying to get my life back in order. So, I'll stay her house. You're trying to press fast forward on that? To get a life back together? Yeah. Is that exactly what happened? Yeah. Basically, you're stealing all this money because you broke up with your boyfriend over another woman. Yeah, it's like, let me press a fast forward when I make this happen. It's tough. So that's right, sister. Sister Tanya, that's right. He's not your friend. Right, Malak. Played her. Yo yoed her. <laughs> uh, Pedro, the other woman is winning right now. <laughs> you know, you for a really that's why I say, don't please, sisters. Don't play yourself out your position for another woman. They'll be comfortably next to your husband while you're in jail on a felony charge. Is there a reason why? Yeah, uh, uh, Ayaj, she thinks she's going home. Exactly. I don't know why people think that. Your ass going to jail. Why you're like, oh, they're so big, they won't know that kind of thought process? I don't know. Honestly, I was literally just trying to get my life back in order. I, I, can't, I can't barely hear you. I said, I don't know, honestly. I was literally just trying to get my life back in order. Yeah? <laughs> just trying to yeah. make it quicker than it was supposed to. So, there's one good thing that could come out of this. And it looks like you you want this to be the first and last time this ever happens. Oh, yes. Right? So I don't tell this to a lot of people <laughs> because a lot of people that I sit across, they 
the legit criminal, like the career offenders and the, the career criminals and whoever, your first time offense. When I can't, this is her first time offense. This just goes to show you that the most high put a delusional spirit on her ass for trying to leave her husband. That means that she is not a criminal. She doesn't live a life of crime. Left her husband trying to be rebellious and thought she was smart. Right, possessed. Her ass was got possessed by a demon. And our sisters be don't you might tell your wife, you got a demon on you. You're not acting normal. This isn't you. They're not gonna say they're not gonna believe you. Is give you the opportunity and say, hey, clean your plate. That's what I want to do. Uh oh, like 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 everybody, like everybody does. They start crying when they get in that interrogation room. They start crying, like Doctor Eric Mason. Y'all seen Doctor Eric Mason crying the other day? They start crying. That's what I want to do. Let's do that then. How about this, sister? You know, I don't want to see it. Listen, you guys know me. I'd rather see 100 white bitches dying than to see one sister crying. So how about you, sister? We hope, this is a few months ago, we hope that you went and got back with your husband. You know, we, we hope, and that's what we're praying for. Go get back with your head. And she just know, she just knows how we are too as Israelite men. We're going to say, I told your black ass so. I did not tell your black ass. I told you the most I was going to get you. So she, and all in her head, she's thinking about, damn, man, this nigga finna tell me. He told me so. And unfortunately, this is how we have to meet. You know? So, <clears throat> you've been working there since right after your birthday, right? At Walmart. When did you, like, start either taking items or kind of take care. And I don't know if he had family come through, you know, um, or when you started taking money, you know, when did it start? I think it, is, it had to start this month. This month? This month is no, not true. Something is May, May, isn't it? It started in May? Yeah. You think beginning of May, end of May? What do you think? the beginning. Beginning of May. Mm -hmm. um, and what did you start with? Like, what did you first start taking? At first, I took a couple hygiene stuff. I didn't have money for it, and I just started working there. I bought hygiene stuff, and then started taking money. Was it going to donor items? Because oh, back in 2021, decided to open up a credit card in my name. Being, I knew what a credit credit card was, but I didn't know how it functioned, so I played around with it. I was young, so I didn't know, which messed up, which made me go into debt. 21 years old in debt. How much debt did you go into? Um. I'm at 5,000 only. 
So how much, first time you took money, how much did you end up taking? It, had, it, it was one something. One thousand something? It was a, it was, was it a thousand? How it was a thousand? Okay. That was like beginning of May. Um, yeah. and so she's saying she wanted to pay off her credit card. Allegedly. Were you doing it? Um, Is it kind of like the same way you were doing it today? Like where you kind of leave it underneath the register? Yeah. Is that exactly how it started or it was some other way? No, that's like, that was like how it started. Okay. Um, so you started taking like a grand, a thousand. <clears throat> In the beginning of May, um, do we do it like on every shift? Yeah, every shift. Every shift a thousand. And how many days were you working? How many days were you Um, my schedule was a set schedule, so some mm -hmm. some days I was off. I'll be off two days. Some days I'm off one day. Three so roughly, you're working like yeah. four or five days a week. So about you would take it. Uh, four or five grand a week yeah okay um and then today what no living being what the all the money that was in your purse right how much of that was just today was all of it pretty much all walmart's mm -mm. no mm -mm. The one that was Walmart was stuck together. The one that was the Walmart is my. Was, was that place. from your previous stuff that you had done? No. That's my well, the one I went to the bank for. That's the one you got a paycheck for? Yeah. And you got paid out and on it? Yeah. So I had to pay the light bill. So when I went to. Uh, Kazaki of Beloya. <laughs> Hey, it can't happen. The water for the super chat donation, brother. <laughs> he said, hey, you got two wives working at Wings, though. <laughs> and he can have three wives. She said multiple wives. It could be four. It could be two. We don't know how many wives the brother had, but we know that he had multiple wives, and that's what she was upset and left about. Uh, but, hey, a brother could be at Wingstop, brother. Listen, you know the things a woman would do for some chicken king? Do you know what women would do for some chicken? That nigga's like, baby, I got you these lemon pepper, you know? I'm bringing them home every night, talking to the other one. Baby, I'm finna get you the, uh, you know, the boneless habanero mango. <laughs> She's gonna be like, what, nigga? For the chicken, bust it wide open. Yeah, um, 130 something plus change. That was mine. The change that's in there is mine. The one that's with. So $130 is yours. Yeah, that's mine. Whatever that's, was it in the files, my money. And then a, a bundle of like $800. Then that's my money. That's for car. That's okay. not theirs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, then there was approximately, I think, of like. Let's say five, four, four or five thousand that was on the bundle today. That they took, yeah, that's yeah, there. That's she so she had four thousand. This is crazy. She had four thousand on her plus hold on, let's let it play. Is that more or less the size of bundles you would take? Yeah, that'd be less. Today was oh, <laughs> less, yeah. In her mind, she thought that she could go from stealing a thousand to another thousand to another thousand. All right, to fifteen hundred to fifteen hundred. Then she took four thousand in one day. Your silly ass going down. Uh, Kazaki says, if you have to work at fast food restaurants, you don't need multiple wives. I mean that's your that's your uh yeah that's your own opinion, brother. 
I mean, I'm with you. You know, you should be more stable, but um, a man's condition or even a woman's condition or predicament um, does not determine uh, polygyny, right? But again, I'm with you. I think you definitely should be financially stable, but that's not the case for everybody. Uh, yeah. Less? So today was less. No, today wasn't less. Today was more. Oh, okay. Today was more. Less, yeah. you usually take less. Okay. Um, <clears throat> today was, unfortunately, the day that. It's just crazy because tomorrow it was going to be the day I'll go get my license to go to the bank and then pay off the five credit. <clears throat> What did you end up doing with the other? Uh, if you got fifteen thousand, why didn't you pay off the five thousand that you're saying you were scamming Walmart for? Stop talking. I don't know why people think they can outsmart the police by talking. The way you outsmart the police is shutting what we call the fudge up. That's how you outsmart the police. The reason why niggas kill and keep killing because people are scared to tell on them. And if they get apprehended, they don't talk. If there's no talking, if there's no witnesses, if there's no confessions, that's how you outsmart the police by shutting the hell up. Well, if I do the math like every other week, if you do four or five. So over the course of the month of May, that puts you at like 10 grand. Um. So what did you do with that then? I also have T-Mobile. I was paying. I had a job, remember, I quit because I left my parents' house. Uh -huh. So I was in debt with T-Mobile, too. Uh -huh. That was $3,000. And I started there off one by one. Uh, Yosef, the water for the Super Chat donation. Greatly appreciate you. So now she's saying she's got, she's, she got some T-Mobile debt. She had to pay that off. Speaking of T-Mobile, I need to pay my uh, phone bill before they cut me off. Um, but it's not with them. It's with Boost Mobile. Uh, so I started doing little payments. Yeah. Um, so I got some money from T-Mobile. That's not going to go to the bank and finish that off. <laughs> so, you, you, so you paid a couple grand to T-Mobile. You paid a couple grand to Boost Mobile, you said? No. I said I didn't want to. I had... I'm not going to say like I left T-Mobile, I just stopped paying them yeah. because I didn't have enough money to mm -hmm. pay for my phone bill. So I just came to T-Mobile. I'm not with T-Mobile anymore. I mean, I'm with, I just came to Boost Mobile. I'm okay. not with T-Mobile anymore. Okay. So what did you end up doing with the rest of the money? Like, did you pay rent? Did you help your mama? Did you give it to your boyfriend? Yeah. What did you do? How much did you end up giving it to her? Oh, no. I'm not trying to give it. Did she ask you like, hey? Where are you getting this from? And she did, and I would say, Mommy, I would say, Mom, don't worry about it. Because that, that bundle today was just four. And if other, every other day you were doing a thousand, you're looking at about <clears throat> just doing simple math. Five, ten, skip, fifteen. Probably in the range of like. 22 grand. 22. I'm just, I'm just basing like first week, let's say if you. Because Akia says, that's just me. If you offer, if you have, if you have after multiple wives, you should be able to provide for them. What about all these other countries where poly is their tradition and culture? Are you going to shame those other cultures? Those poor third world countries, some of them live in villages. They still have multiple wives. So you're thinking from a real Western uh, perspective here, kind of like through the lens of a white man a little to say, oh, you have to stack up 300,000. That's what the white man tells you. Stack up six figures, go to college, get a degree, 
and, and then get a wife and then you take care of her and she don't have to give a dollar to the financial contribution of the family. That is thinking like a white man, sir. How to go? For real? She got it on camera? No, but she didn't record it. Why? Why? You don't need it. You gotta get some of it. Okay, I'm almost done. First week of May. No? Okay, how much do you think? I'll say 10 for right now. 10? 10, yeah. 10 grand? I'll say 10, 9. Okay, including the 4 grand today? Yeah. So once, once you get that... So he's trying to get the amount that she stole because that's what determines the level of felony that she's going to get. And her stupid ass is telling it all to be. Okay, including the 4 grand today? Yeah. So wow. once, once you get down to the jail, they'll, they'll, that's where they'll allow you that phone call. Oh, and don't it take time? Yeah, the process and do all that stuff. If you want, I can call on behalf of you and let them know what's going on, if that's what you'd like. Right. Just so your family kind of knows what's going on. You know the thing is, well, different bond. Uh -huh. How does that work? The judge decides the bond. So you'll have an arraignment in the morning, and then you'll be in front of a judge. We know what they do. They look at your criminal history. Okay, she's been living here for the last 21 years. This is her first time offense. You know, and it's going to be up to the judge. Okay? All right. Okay. So after this it tells you what she got charged for. It's taken safely to the police station and charged with a major felony, grand theft of more than $10,000. So that's what she got charged for. And guess what, you guys? That frick, that goddamn devil said, oh, because this is your first offense. If you just talk with me, you know, uh, I could do something for you. He can't do anything for you. Only person that could do something for you. Listen. Take it from me, all right? When a cop says he can do anything for you as far as a lighter sentence, he can't. A detective can't. Only one that can do that is the prosecuting attorney. Please understand that. Now, first of all, y'all shouldn't be committing no crime as Israelites. But for those of you who just may be, let's say, you, you know, you didn't know your license, you had, you didn't pay on your license and your license was suspended, you get pulled over. Just don't say nothing. Don't talk. They can't do anything for you. <clears throat> uh, so... This is a result of her leaving her husband because he has multiple wives, sisters, lock in, stay in order. Don't remove yourself from the play. Don't remove yourself from your position. You heard? All right. Anyway, this is a new channel, not a new channel. 
But this is a channel that we don't use a lot. And we will be back on Deacon Destruction Mode probably by Wednesday. All right. Um, so until then, I'll see you guys here on Tuesday. And maybe Wednesday, if they don't free my other channel back up. If not, we're back on Deacon Destruction Mode. But let me show you guys this. Let me show you guys this. Ah, uh, you guys want to treat? Matter of fact, I'm going to upload this to CZYN right now. I'm going to upload this to CZYN.network, but you'll only be able to use see it using promo code Deacon Sakari. Yesterday, me and uh, the brothers from Wi-Fi, Watchmen for Israel. Yeah. Uh, we blitz some more Christian evangelists. I was in fornication. The book of Malachi chapter one verse three. Okay. You got it. And, and you walked up to me and what you call me? Jews. And what you call me? A punk ass white boy. I have. Uh, so you, what? So who pretended the adoption? We get the adoption. Walking them down, right? So he's walking around doing the, passing out the flyers for this Christian group right here who was on our corner. Oh, it, it went up, y'all. It went up. We had to snatch a couple of microphones. <laughs> That's all I'll show you guys. It went down. It went down. So this is gonna be on CZYN.network. Israelites not we blitz and cans, we snatch your mics. But I wouldn't snatch the mic if they didn't set up right across the street. I will say that. I wouldn't snatch the mic if if they didn't set up right across the street and build on our foundation as the Bible says not to do. Uh so yeah. Um it went down. Yeah. 13, 10. This is Revelation chapter 13, verse 10. Christ's words. He that leadeth into captivity. So white people led black people in the Man, we was tearing their ass up yesterday. Anyway, I'm going to put that all on CZYN.network using promo code Deacon Sakari. <laughs> Watch me for Israel in the building. Yeah, we, uh, we're not playing games. Look, if you want to set up on our corner, you're going to get blitzed. You might get your mic snatched. We just we don't know, right? Um, now, if you go down the street, that's fine. We'll blitz you, but we won't, like do what just happened then all right i'll say that so anyways y'all let's end this by giving all praises honor and glory uh due uh, to yahweh and we do so by shima mashiach yahweh shai uh hit that like button on the way out greatly appreciate you guys till next time shalom <laughs>